welcome to Alpha Cars. My name is Dimitri, and today we're going to look at the 2006 Lexus LS430 with amazing low mileage of only 61,000 miles and stunning ownership and service history. Let's take a look at it. We're at the front of our Alpha Cars dealership. This is our box bar location. Uh, you can see our marketing manager Dan taking photos of uh, recent trade in motorcycles and here's the 2006 Lexus I was telling you about we were very lucky uh, the recent owner uh, reached out to Alpha cars and offered us to buy the car when we saw the car we absolutely had to have it so this vehicle the ownership starts in Florida it was only six months when the first owner bought it and had it and then the second owner bought it six months old uh, as a Lexus certified pre-owned and owned it for 14 uh, years drove a little over 50,000 miles and then the third owner who we bought the vehicle from purchased the Lexus and he purchased it for the same reason we did it was an impeccable uh, impeccable car absolutely no rust um, and then what he did during his one year of ownership he really gone through the car with the help of a lo local Lexus dealer and of course a lot of uh, money spent but he made this car turn this car into a perfect automobile we're gonna take a look at the exterior we'll get inside we'll look at the engine compartment so uh, let's check out the body we just walked around the vehicle there are literally no imperfections that I saw that I could point out to you. Uh, the headlamps, chrome, uh, body lines, the paint, this beautiful pearl white looks great. And uh, from the condition, there's really nothing, again, uh, well, if this would be an imperfection, there's a tiny little microscopic touch up that I'm sure we will do and take care of it. But there are no dings, no chips on the body door edges look very very nice rims are simply stunning and impeccable and please check out our video of the underbody that's a nice um that's a nice condition lexus certainly nothing we would see here in new england if this car was driven around here so um let's uh, start getting inside little by little and uh, we're going to look at the door door bottoms impeccably clean Check them out. Door jams. Looking at the seats with you. The seat is simply like new. The driver's seat has minimal wear. We're going to take a look at these pages a little later, but this is all the service history from day one. Look at the armrest. Uh, the wood is just incredible. There are no cracks anywhere. There was only one area where we were told by the recent owner that there was a crack it was on the steering wheel he actually spent over two thousand dollars and had lexus replace and install a new steering wheel just to make sure there are no cracks look at all this wood beautiful wood all the switches are nice and clean getting in the back of the vehicle this is another cool sight because it looks like no one even sat back here it's nice and tight leather feels awesome there are no dryness anywhere in the parts all the gaskets here look nice and soft feel great left rear beautiful look at the door jams no one left the seat buckle when closing the door everything is nice and clean And again wood is beautiful and these are this is a luxury car when we say luxury cars this is as luxury as it gets uh, certainly in 2006 and even by today's standards there are very few cars that drive this way in fact Lexus owners that had these vehicles and tried newer ones many of them uh, still remember these as better driving vehicles Here's the VIN, the vehicle has clean Carfax. You can see a lot of service history, but not everything. We have all the service history in the folder that we were given. 
So we're looking at the seat. The seat is very nice. Look at the bolster. Minimal to no wear. Very little wear. Brand new steering wheel. The carpets are impeccable. Let's check out the engine compartment. And very often when I do videos, I turn off the engine so we don't have to listen to extra sound. But this Lexus engine, I forgot it's running. It's actually so, so quiet. Let's pull up the hood. And look at this pretty side. Look at the condition of aluminum parts, anodized parts. They are simply impeccable. And as far as the uh, paint work and, and body work, uh, this Lexus has a clean Carfax. Uh, what we know from the last owner that there was a minor collision uh, and instead of repairing the fender, uh, they had a Lexus body shop install a new fender and they did amazing color matching. And the quality of this is simply stunning. And uh, there was no structural repair, so all this is original. None of that was replaced. And the fenders on Lexus are bolt-on, so they just didn't want to deal with the bodywork and had the fender replaced. And again, it's done beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. All the original hardware uh, was used, the original parts were used, and the quality of the paint is very, very, very impressive. So let's uh, close the hood. And the only area we did not check out yet is the trunk. Let's look at that. And then we'll get inside where it's very, very nice and comfortable. Oops. Let's push the release button for the trunk. Here it is. Wow, this thing is roomy. It looks like it has a pass-through. And look at the condition of these floor mats. Wow. I would say they're brand new or very, very close to that. Let's check out this cute little thing. Oops. Always like these. See what manufacturers give customers these days. Alexa does well, better than uh, BMW does these days uh, high premium quality I would say premium high quality pliers all these parts are nicely done and you have metric wrenches 8 10 12 14 and since Lexus doesn't break that's uh, too many tools for the owner to have but it's nice to have and looks like there is also uh, an emergency light right here so that's all good i'm gonna put it back in and let's keep going we have a spare wheel there's still room to put more stuff here there's a jack cargo net and uh, some other jack accessories this is important thing right here if you buy this lexus make sure you don't lose it that's the locking uh, adapter for the lug nuts so, yeah, and again, check out all these details. This car looks cleaner than most average cars that are one or two years old, I'm telling you. And it does not look like an aged, low mileage automobile because, again, we've seen cars that had extremely low mileage and yet they needed a lot of work between cosmetic stuff, maintenance items, and... Uh, uh, and just some just some aging related issues this car doesn't have any of that it is definitely an awesome and i would say cost efficient alternative to many other luxury vehicles you can buy and spend a lot more money so we're gonna we're gonna get in the back seat and we're gonna together look at the uh some of the service records so look at this, starts from April 2006 and it lists the pre-delivery inspection 
1,000 mile service, the chrome wheels were added on, another PDI was done, the CPO certification gold package, uh, another prep service, and uh, looks like later on the battery or maybe key batteries were replaced. The 10,000 mile service was done in 2007. Um, a battery was replaced and then to make sure looks like the batteries don't get discharged, the car wasn't driven, a battery maintainer was installed. Um, another service, 10,000 miles, 15,000 mile service. Another battery replacement, again, when you don't drive the vehicle and you don't plug it in, it will drain the battery. And to get back to a reliable spot, you want to put a new one. So that's what they were doing. Um, 20,000 mile service, we're already in 2009. Uh, brakes were serviced. So we don't have to go through this thing, but I think it will give you an idea that all the services were done, not only by miles, but by uh, just by annual requirements and you can see dollar values on the right side engine cabin filters all that was replaced during 14 year ownership and that's where it stops and then the most recent owner that sold us the vehicle you can see the replacement of the steering wheel was twenty six hundred dollars uh, trunk uh, support little shocks that hold it two hundred seventy seven dollars uh, the headlamps were um, refinished they look beautiful they did an awesome job i i actually did not pick on it they look like factory they did a great job 125 dollars and for tires and then that was done in 2020 engine cabin filter trunk emblems hood cushions and list goes on from regular maintenance items and then you get into this major service all this is backed up by receipts to uh, upper control arms stab stabilizer bar and links rear suspension arms four-wheel alignment flush brake system so pretty much by lexus all front and rear suspension was inspected and all needed parts serviced uh, front grille was replaced for almost 700 dollars just to match everything to close to new condition uh, the windshield was replaced. The windshield, we're looking through it now, it is impeccable and it's nicely done again. Uh, you can't see any signs of the vehicle being worked on. And then you get into refinishing the front bumper, replace the, dro uh, the drip rail moldings, dings on the fender, and polish the trunk. Uh, $2,100. I'm telling you, when we saw this car, we were super impressed with it. And um, this paperwork certainly backs up why it is so impressive. And then there were some uh, final um, services that were done. When we received the car, we did our own inspection, confirmed all of this, did a few other th things you can see on our website on alphacars.com. But the condition of this vehicle is simply unbelievable. And I think the next person, hopefully a car uh, enthusiast, will enjoy it. But this vehicle, is an awesome fit for anyone, anyone uh, who would love to travel in a luxury, safe, quiet environment. And from the maintenance standpoint, it will need very, very little. These cars are super reliable and uh, you wouldn't have to really spend a lot of money to put a lot of miles on it. These cars can go two, three hundred thousand miles. Uh, to answer your question, yes, it is a rear wheel drive vehicle. It has a traction control system, so, and a very good one. So from the safety standpoint, yes, you would put a set of winter tires if you're gonna be using this car here in New England, and you will not have any problems traveling. This is a heavy car, and with good winter tires, it will do very, very well. I've driven seven series BMW, which was a competitor for this Lexus at the time, also a rear wheel drive car for years and enjoyed it. My son uh, has an old seven series rear wheel drive. He drives it with winter tires and, and happy with it. So we, um, yeah, uh, it's definitely a good question. Is it all wheel drive or not? But if you, if you do need to drive this car in the winter, all you need to do is put a set of winter tires. So thank you very much for viewing this video. 
Uh, this was Dimitri reporting from the cabin of the gorgeous 2006 Lexus LS430 with only 62,000 miles. And this is from our box bar location uh, here. Thanks for watching. Thank you.